three. Uh, ne that's the next video. This is a pregnancy update. One, two, three, go! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my. Why do I put so much emphasis on that? Doing my. I'm gonna be um, doing my 35 week pregnancy update. I'm 35 weeks and three days pregnant today. So that means I have four days, I mean, <laughs> four weeks and four days left in this pregnancy. Oh, this app is just so cute. Like, look at this little baby. Like, oh my God, you, know, you go like this. It's like so 3D and stuff. And you see the little baby. Like, I, I just love this app. Okay, so when you first open it up, it has this manual right here. I'm going to read this. Out. <laughs> oh, it's so little. Oh my God, I'm not sure if this is how like, all breast pumps are or something. Or most breast pumps. But this is how it looks. When you open it up, it's slim. Like, see how slim it is? It's very slim. This. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's shiny. Wow, this is so lightweight. Like, literally, I could just go like that. <coughs> and, wow, that's amazing for when you have a newborn i guess you hold it right here or something like that mode cycles level led power cool now hold on let me bring this closer put that right there so what else is in here Ooh. Got two bottles. Oh wow. Okay. So we got two bottles. This is cool. <clears throat> Let's see. When you open up the bottle, okay. I love the way this is right here. Like it's like um I don't know it's like you, you guys can see how it is but that's cool and it goes up to five ounces so we got two of those and then I guess you just um put. One okay, so okay. I guess you attach it like this or something like that, and then you put it on one boobie, and then you put the other one on the other boobie. But then, oh, okay, I was gonna say, so where does the milk go? So I guess you open this up. And you screw this on here, and all of the milk comes down. Cool. This is dope. This is really dope. I have a breastfeeding class coming up on Saturday. Um, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 28th. So I'm extremely excited about that so now let me plug this in and show you oh okay put it in here turn it off oh wow that is a light noise led oh 
cool. It's like blue, a blue light. Let's see, mode, massage. Okay, cool. And then there's different cycles. Level. Okay. This is dope. Oh my God. My son is five pounds and 11 ounces. We had a doctor's appointment just yesterday and they told me that. And I'm like, oh my God. She was like, yeah, that's good. That's a good weight. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah. I have all these products behind me because right after this video, I'm going to be filming a first time mom new product must have as to what, you know, in my opinion. We had a hospital tour two days ago and it was really, really, really dope. Like, I love this hospital that we're going to be giving birth at. First off, it felt clean. Like, you know how you go into a hospital and it feels like dirty and you're like, ugh? No, this hospital felt clean. So that's the first thing that I loved about that hospital. Number two is I wrote notes as we were going through the tour because my pregnancy brain is, it's real. Like, it's real. Like, I, I forget a lot of things. So, <laughs> I put some notes, hospital tour notes. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, you deliver on the third floor, and then you stay on the third floor for two hours, and then after two hours, after you deliver, um, you go up to the fourth floor. When you're on the third floor, and you're delivering, yeah, you can have your partner, with you and then one other person that just have two people so basically it's two people and then um when you go up to the fourth floor you can have any amount of visitors until 8 30 p.m and um if you get if you give birth vaginally then you are there for 24 hours which is short like wow okay I just gave her, I'm going home. <laughs> and then for a C-section, if you're gonna get a C-section, then um, you have two, you stay in the hospital for two to three days after your C-section. Like they have a procedure room where they like test your car seat and um, you know, help you out with your car seat and stuff. So that's cool. What I really, really, really loved about that hospital is when you give birth, after you give birth, um, as soon as you have your baby, they give you one hour of skin to skin. Like, so basically what that means is that they won't just, they won't just um, take your baby right away and start doing all the um like finding out how much the baby weighs and the vitals and all that stuff they won't do that they'll give you an hour and that's very 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 important who is this i bet you i bet you it's a bullshit no. hello Stop fucking on my video. Skin to skin right after your baby is born is extremely important. It is extremely important for the development of your baby point on because your baby needs, your baby literally needs that skin to skin. And the doctor said to put the baby, not right here, but literally on your breast and that's going to help you um when it's time to breastfeed study that said that babies that receive that um skin to skin on the mother's breast right after the baby was born that they had um a better 
that they were, it was easier for them to latch right on, like to latch because, you know, they're getting that, that bond with you. Like if your baby's cold, when your baby first comes out, cause imagine your baby's inside of there, your baby's warm, your baby's like, you know, and then your baby comes out <sighs> into the world, you know, and it's cold. I went to the delivery room, it was brick in there. I'm like, what? Like, whoa, maybe this is an example room or something. But it was way, 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 way too cold in there. So if your baby's cold, you put your baby right there and um, your baby's gonna receive um, all of your love and all of, your warmth and stuff, and yeah, it's just like, I just can't wait to meet my, meet, meet my baby, like, I just really can't, but um, that's the tour. She actually worked there for 40 years, and the hospital was open, for, it, it, it has been open for 40 years, so I'm like, wow, like, this is the perfect person to be giving this hospital tour, because she's been here forever and so she knows like everything <laughs> and um um basically what else she said that oh so she said that if um so say if you give birth at 2 30 p.m and the doctors try to come try to come in five minutes before 10 minutes before your hour is over to do the um to do the scan to scan, you can tell them, nope, it has not been one hour yet. And they have to respect that. They're most like, they know the importance of skin to skin, so they won't try to, you know, do anything. But um, at like other hospitals, like um, when my sister was giving birth, they didn't do that. Like, they didn't give a damn, they didn't give a shit about skin to skin. Like, they just take the baby. Boom. Um, take the vitals and take the um, the measurements and all this stuff. And it's like, that could wait, like, what you doing? You know, if you wanna bring anything like your pregnancy ball, this is like what I have right here. This is also my best friend. This is literally my best friend. Oh, while I'm up, let me just show you guys my belly. Boom. Pow. Belly. Belly, belly, belly. Oh, yeah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon. My friend, in whatever pregnancy update that was, I said, I don't have any stress marks. Ooh. No. I have stress marks now. And it's the same ones. It's the same ones. Remember how I said that they was getting lighter? They get darker. They is getting black. Like, they are black stretch marks. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do a, um, a video on supplements and stuff that I take and vitamins that I take. Gotta drink your water. This water bottle? is a life it was only like a dollar 74 at walmart remember how i told you guys in the beginning of my pregnancy um i don't have any cravings yeah i didn't have any cravings in the beginning but now i crave like ice cream and i crave jamaican food <laughs> in particular curry i mean goat in particular, I curry. Uh, <laughs> in particular, I crave oxtails. <laughs> oxtails with the rice, like the rice and the peas. One time they gave me some platano. Oh, God. And then there are these potatoes that I actually have them in the fridge right now because I. My fiance ordered me some um, Jamaican food yesterday. But um, there's these potatoes that are, they're roasted potatoes, 
but they they're like I don't know how to explain it like it's like a it, it's just it's so, so good like it has like this sauce on it like the sauce is like red and it's like it's it's like a sweet taste but it's, it's just so good like if I could eat Jamaican food every day I would I would I would I would I would I love the oxtails like oh my god and then they had macaroni and cheese macaroni and cheese wasn't like it wasn't like whoa but it was it was good you know so yeah I crave <laughs> he's cooking he's like you talking about Jamaican food <laughs> um so yeah, I crave ice cream and I crave Jamaican food.